Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode of AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam, I've got some really mixed bag of questions. So questions that have appeared in the real exam very recently and very frequently. So I have compiled those questions in this video and yes, please do not miss to watch our previous videos on AWS Cloud Practitioner Exam because this will really help you cover the entire syllabus. You will not be missing any part of the syllabus because the questions can come pretty much from any nook and corner of the entire syllabus. And with the wish that these questions will really help you build the sound cloud career and also get the certification let's get on to the very first question for today here it comes so let's begin this episode with a concept which is little bit lesser known to many of the viewers or many of the exam takers but because this is a concept which is related to the security many questions can come from this concept so let's crack and understand this concept here comes the question number 246 part 34 so the question is asking you which AWS service uses machine learning to help discover, monitor and protect sensitive data that is stored in Amazon S3 buckets. Your options are option A, AWS Shield, option B, Amazon Macy. I'm not sure exactly the pronunciation of this word, but let's say Amazon Macy. Option C, AWS Network Firewall and option D, Amazon Cognito. And the correct answer for this question is option B, Amazon Macy. <coughs> So Amazon Macy, my friends, as I was saying, it's a lesser known concept. So let's try to understand. Let's try to take a deep dive into this concept. So here you can read. First of all, it helps you discover and protect your sensitive data at scale. So what are the other things that you can do with it? So automate sensitive data discovery at scale. Also, you can gain cost efficient visibility into sensitive data stored in Amazon S3. Remember that this was also given in our question Amazon S3 and also you can assess your Amazon S3 bucket inventory for security and access controls and finally reduce the triage time with the actionable reporting of the sensitive data found in Amazon S3. So you can see one thing very clearly that Amazon Macy is closely related to the concept of Amazon S3. Then friends you can also understand how does it work. I will try to explain this in my own simple words. And I will really encourage you to come to this section here where you can see this quick video here to understand why do we need Amazon Macy and finally you can understand all the use cases for the same and not only that you can also look around what are the customers what are the companies using Amazon Macy. So now let me explain the Amazon Macy in much simpler words. So first of all Amazon Macy is a security service that uses machine learning and pattern matching to discover classify and protect sensitive data stored in Amazon S3. And please understand this is essentially a data security guard that watches your valuable information. So let's understand how exactly this works in a very simple words, very crisp and short. So let me tell you first step is discovery. So Macy continuously scan your S3 buckets for the sensitive data such as personally identifiable information which is also popularly known as PII financial data and much more. So any information that can be classified as sensitive and you do not want to expose that information. Secondly, my friends, we have classification. So this is so Macy helps you categorize all this sensitive data so you can categorize based on your company's requirement or your company's legal suits. And finally, the most important part protection. So Macy provides you insights into potential security risk, allowing you to take appropriate actions to protect your data. So what are the key benefits of Amazon Macy? Well, first of all, this can be automated data discovery. So Macy can identify sensitive data without the manual effort, best part of it. Then we have risk management. It really provides you insights into the data, data breaches and vulnerabilities. And act number three, I want to talk about compliance support. So Macy helps you meet the regulatory requirements such as GDPR and also HIPAA, which is also called as HIPAA. Then we have cost effectiveness. So Macy really helps you reduce the time and resources that you need to spend on your data security. And finally, let's understand what are the use cases for the same. And in addition to what I am saying here, please also refer the documentation from AWS. And friends, before we move ahead, I just want to remind you that we keep on releasing multiple exam series 
on AWS, Microsoft Azure, and then we also release videos on Gen AI, Artificial Intelligence. And not only that, I keep on updating on my YouTube channel. What are the various discounts coupon? What are the various latest happenings in the Microsoft Azure or Amazon AWS? So for example, I have recently posted videos on certification from Microsoft. What are the discounts available there? Then I have also posted what kind of certification you can do for free from LinkedIn, from Microsoft, from Google. So all these videos will really help you save some bucks and also build a sound career in cloud technologies and Gen AI. So do not wait any further. Please subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon to get the timely notifications. So let me quickly reiterate. So here comes the use cases. First of all, protecting your customer sensitive data. Secondly, ensuring compliance with industry regulations. Thirdly, detecting data leaks and unauthorized access. And finally, prioritizing data security efforts. So I hope my friends, this really would have helped you understand Amazon Macy. And in case my pronunciation was not up to the mark, then let me know how can I correctly pronounce this word. But for now, let's move on to the next question. Question number 247, it says, which AWS service provides on-demand virtual servers in the cloud? So your options are option A, Amazon S3, option B, AWS Lambda, option C, Amazon EC2, and option D, AWS Elastic Beanstack. And before even giving you the correct answer, my friends, I can tell you, all these services are really important services and you will surely get some questions based on these services. So please watch the previous episodes. We have taken multiple questions on each of these services. And I've explained all these concepts quite in detail. And not only that, I've also given some counterpart services for those who are coming from the Microsoft Azure platform. Well, for now, let me tell you the correct answer. And that is option C, Amazon EC2. Now, how many of you can really tell me what is the counterpart service in Microsoft Azure for Amazon EC2? Okay, so on this documentation, you can understand what exactly is Amazon EC2, which provides you the secure and resizable computer capacity for virtually any workload. So all of that is given here why Amazon EC2. So basically, why would you use Amazon EC2? What are the benefits of the same? But let me very quickly make you understand what exactly is Amazon EC2. So Amazon EC2, my friends, is a web service that provides you resizable compute capacity in the cloud. And what exactly would you do out of that? So basically, it enables you to launch the virtual servers known as instances with the customizable configuration and you can scale them up or down as required. And also, my friends, EC2 instances are widely used for a variety of compute instansive tasks such as running application, hosting websites and performing data heavy processing. And please do refer the documentation that I just showed. And with that, let's move on to the next question. It says use of what AWS feature or service allows the companies to track and categorize spending on a detailed level. Your options are option A, cost allocation tag, option B, consolidated billings, option C, AWS budgets, and option D, AWS marketplace. Okay, so we are talking about categorize and tracking the spending of the company in a detailed level. And what exactly could it be? Well, if you talk about spending, detail level, and money, then the best option you can bet on is option C, Amazon AWS budgets. Well, as you would guess, Amazon AWS budget it really helps you improve planning and cost control with flexible budgeting and forecasting options. So you can have the custom budget. You can always stay updated and informed about the usage of your resources. Then you can also create a custom action. So here you can read that you can create custom actions. And then besides that, you can also understand what are the use cases and how to get started. Moving on with the question number 249 that says a company wants to migrate to AWS and use the same security software it uses on premises. So the security software vendor offers is the security software as a service on AWS. Where can the company purchase this security solution? Your options are AWS Partner Solution Finder, Option B, AWS Support Center, Option C, AWS Management Console, or Option D, AWS Marketplace. So basically, we are talking about a customized solution that the company has already been using on their on-premises solution. And now this exact software, this exact customized software, they also want on AWS Cloud. And the only option that can provide this is option D, AWS Marketplace. 
And on this documentation, you can understand how to discover, deploy and manage software that runs on AWS. So in a nutshell, my friends, AWS Marketplace is an online store that offers a wide selection of third party software. So remember that we were talking about the third party or the customized software. This exactly is the place where you can find all of that. And this marketplace, my friends, really includes security solution and other solution customized one that can be used on AWS. And it also provides a platform that customer to find, compare and purchase software solution that really meets a specific needs. So please go ahead and learn and discover more and more customized solution. There might be just a customized solution for the idea that is cooking in your mind just right now. Moving on with the next question, question number 250, it says which AWS service provides AWS customers with a centralized place to search, discover and connect with trusted APN technology and consulting partners based on the customer's business needs. And your options are option A, AWS Partner Solution Finder, option B, AWS Support Center, and option C, AWS Management Console, and lastly, option D, AWS Marketplace. Now you can see the options are pretty much same as the previous question as well. And I have deliberately kept these questions together because many of the people, they really get confused between AWS Marketplace and AWS Partner Solution. So it's a deliberate action to keep both of these questions together so that you can really understand the differences between option A and option D. And in the previous question, we saw why would we choose marketplace? But for this question, the correct answer is option A, AWS Partner Solution Finder. And what exactly is AWS Partner Solution Finder? All of the facts, the FAQs, the questions and the understanding of the same, you will be able to find out on this documentation. So here it says the AWS Partner Solution Finder provides the AWS customers with a centralized place to search, discover and connect with the trusted APN technology and consulting partners based on the customer's business needs. And the customers can use the AWS Partner Solution Finders to find an APN partner to help design, migrate, manage and optimize workloads on AWS. So please go ahead and read this documentation, this one on the AWS Partner Solution and the previous one on the AWS Marketplace so that you can never be confused. So friends, towards the end of the video, now that we have covered a lot of questions on AWS Cloud Practitioner exam, I'm sure that you're getting a hang of it in case you have some questions, maybe some question or the answer is not clear or maybe you have some counter view, you do not agree with the answer that I gave, then please do not be hesitant to put that in the comment section. It's always a healthy conversation and learn from each other and that's all for today i will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching